Hi, this is Ollie, or English Monkey. Welcome to another video. This time I'm showcasing the highlights of a three-day motorbike trip I took from Hanoi to the Lao border and back. My flight from Hong Kong arrived in the evening, so I took an Uber to my hotel in the Ho Te or Westlake area of the city, just around the corner from the Ticket Motorbike Rental Shop. My room had aircon, shower and a standard bed. Really can't complain at £13 a night. After a decent night's sleep, I woke up early and went for a wander around the colourful local morning market. I then explored the area near the lake and came across an intriguing old wooden structure, which turned out to be part of the Van Nien Pagoda, a thousand year old Buddhist place of worship and one of the most sacred sites in Hanoi. I then got my first proper look at the Hanoi traffic I would soon be riding through pretty orderly compared to Ho Chi Minh. After a quick breakfast at Highland Coffee, Vietnam's answer to Starbucks, I made my way through the back streets to ticket motorbike rentals, stopping to admire the communist imagery and dancing aunties. At ticket, I completed the paperwork and picked up my bike of choice. Yes, another trusty Honda XR150. I then transferred my belongings into a customary IKEA shopping bag and attached it to the back of my bike with bungee cords. I was ready for my three hour trip to the countryside town of Mai Chau in the limestone cast mountains in the northwest of the country. An hour or so out of Hanoi, I stopped for fuel and had a fantastic iced coffee with a river view. Oh, 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 oh,
for lunch, I simply chose the busiest restaurant in a nearby town on Google Maps. Lots of tofu-based dishes. Not bad. Half an hour later, I rode up the first mountain pass and was persuaded to buy some unspecified barbecue meat. A second lunch with a view. I arrived in Mai Chao in the late afternoon. Check out the views from my guest house balcony, which incidentally was just £13 a night. After enjoying a cup of tea, I rode a loop through the local villages. The scenery didn't disappoint. The next day I rode due west towards the Lao border, aiming to have lunch in a town called Mung Lat. The main industry in the area seemed to be bamboo cultivation and processing. After stopping for a coffee in an isolated village, I was surrounded by a group of teenage boys eager to practice their English. Okay, so these guys want to be on YouTube. Yeah, hello, hello. On YouTube, yeah. okay. okay. Hi, hi, okay, I'll give you. Hello, hello, hello. hello. All right. My name is Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hi. So where, where are we now? This is not, not Mung Lat, right? This yeah, is no. Mung Lat. Are you a Mung Lat people? Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay, I'll give you my YouTube. I put on later. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you again. Bye. Yep. Keep learning English. Okay. I love all the No. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. Bye, see you. Take care.
I then stopped for a rustic lunch for 50p in the border town of Munglat. Friendly people. After lunch, I took the back roads over the mountains to reach my hotel near the Ho Chi Minh Road, which I would take back to Hanoi the following day. This family-run hotel was just £9 a night. Accommodation in rural Vietnam really is a bargain. On the final day of my trip, I headed back to Hanoi, but not before taking a slight detour south to pay a visit to a ruin I'd had my eye on. This is the Ho Citadel. Built in the late 14th century, this 384 acre site was the centerpiece of the capital of the Western Ho dynasty. Now, all that's left is the perimeter wall and a couple of stone dragons. Anyway, on this particular day, I had it all to myself. The Ho Chi Minh Road to Hanoi was busy with trucks, and so I took the back road through the suburbs for a safer and more interesting journey. And so ends another Vietnam motorbike trip, once again leaving me hungry for more. Until next time, take it easy.